Welcome back, guys, to a brand new episode. My name is Mr. Brightside, and in today's episode, well, I don't know why I'm sharing this story. Maybe it's because I want to get a little personal and close to my viewers. <laughs> no. No. Today, I'm telling you a story about the drunkest I've ever been in my life. Now, if there's a few things that you should know about me, is that A, I'm not a big drinker. Like, I can count on one hand how many times I've been drunk in the last two to three years. It doesn't happen very often. Now, when I drink, I am a little fruity little bitch, okay? I don't drink beer or wine or uh, whiskey. All I really drink is like mixed drinks like rum and coke or mojito. Or if I go out to a restaurant, I'm going to be that little guy that gets a peanut colada that all your friends make fun of. I'm a fruity little bitch like that. What can I say, <laughs> to be to be quite honest? But I don't care. Make fun of me. doesn't matter to me. That's what I like. Can't help it, can you? But anyway, and when I drink, I usually don't have the problem of getting drunk because I have, like, this on-off switch that a lot of people wish that they had. That, like, I, after, like, two drinks, I can just stop myself from drinking for the rest of the night. It won't bother me whatsoever. But on this specific night, I was drinking like this rum and coke out of a can. Kind of like a Southern Comforts, but it had like 8 or 9% alcohol volume. And, oh my god. Did these mess me up. I bought like 12 in total. And we're playing beer pong that night. And I really don't remember. But I must have been killing it. Because I was on the beer table. Or the beer pong table for quite some time which entails a lot of drinking. I finished like six of them. And so I'm feeling loose, I'm feeling frisky. And this girl was drinking Four Locos, all right? Now, if you don't know what Four Locos are or were, back back in my day, they used to be a lot stronger. But in, when I was in college, oh my God, kids would die from drinking Four Locos. There was the equip one four loco was the equivalent of drinking six beers and a coffee with how much chlorine or chlorine, chlorine and uh, caffeine it had in it. These things were lethal. They were called blackout in a can. Four locos were so crazy back then that I had friends that built an entire wall of just four loco cans. All right. Four loco to college students was just it was literally crack. It was dirt cheap, and it would get you messed up insanely fast, and most college kids could not control their drinking. Therefore, Four Locos were just the most demonstrative drink to ever have in college. Now, I remember drinking the rest of this girl's drink. I chugged it. I was like, oh, give me this. Let me take this. I'll drink the whole thing. So I chugged the whole thing, and then I woke up about two and a half hours later, I don't remember anything after I chugged that that uh, four loco, and I just I woke up on a lawnmower, on a lawnmower, and I wake up instantly, just a stream of vomit just just protruding from my mouth, just, bleh, just everywhere. I got on the lawnmower, I got on the ground next to it. It was oh my god, it was disgusting. Everything that I drank that night was just coming right back up. Out of me. I got it all over my, my shirt. I was wearing a white, like a typical college kid. I was wearing uh, khaki shorts and a white polo shirt, which is orange vomit all over me. It was just disgusting. Uh, oh my god, my insides are on fire! No, no, please, no more, no more. And I try to stand up and stabilize, and that was just not happening. I ended up army crawling all the way to my car. And then I reached my car, it's locked. And my friends are all yelling at me like, what the fuck are you doing? Get back, you're not going anywhere. And I was like, well, hell yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I can't even drive across the street if I wanted to. All I wanna do is pass out in my car so I can drive home in the morning. And my buddy unlocks my car, but he's also drunk and he forgets to give me my keys. So I, I wake up in the morning and I reach for my keys. I'm like, where are they? Where? I don't have them. 
Where, where'd they go? My buddy still had them. So I had to walk all the way home. It was like over four miles at six o'clock in the morning with khaki uh, shorts on and the polo shirt with vomit just everywhere. And it was like a back roads walk. It wasn't like a main road. I had to walk through the back roads. And on the way, I actually saw another four loco can and I threw up again. Like it was just an empty four loco can just laying in the woods. And if I bomb it again at six o'clock in the morning and I'm just feeling like the worst hangover of my life. I feel, I feel like the sky is just falling down on me. I can't breathe. I'm so dehydrated. I haven't had food or water besides alcohol since like six o'clock the, uh, the previous day. All right. Now I get I get to my friend's house because my friend that had my keys happened to be my neighbor. I'm just banging on his door. He finally answers, and I'm able to go get my car. But oh my god, there's no way I'll ever forget that night. I got so wasted. And it just felt so bad. But, you know, everybody learns from their experiences, right? Alright, guys. So that was the drunkest I've ever been in my life. Leave in the comments down below the drunkest you've ever been. Where you were or what you were drinking. What's, like, your just lethal combination that always gets you fucked up. And, uh, don't forget to smash the like button for me, guys. I know you will. And I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out.